boxingvoice.com live here with the back call favorite Sony Woods. What's going on, Sony? What's going on, Cincinnati, baby? Cincinnati, stand up, man. Look at let me oh, give them big. let me give them that aerial shot, man. It's six three. Oh, what, what's, the, what's the actual weight? 235. No, no, no. 255. I'm sorry. 255. 235 in my better days. Okay. So, uh, like everyone, man, we like to ask, um, what made you decide to do Border Wars? <sighs> Border Wars. I mean, since I've been listening to the show, I was hearing it. I used to hear it sporadically come out during the show, like, Border Wars this, Border Wars that, you know? <laughs> so it was like, yo, what the fuck are they talking about, yo? So I'm thinking it's just, like, some things to where, like, y'all get together and, like, judge fights, sort of like how the Pick'em League is. Mm -hmm. So I'm thinking at first that's what Border Wars, Border Wars were. So then when I started to get familiar with the show, get familiar with the Bat Channel, you know, they put me on to it. They like, nah, yo, they nest rinse out gems and shit like this. We get together and we put it down, you know? So I'm like, yo, I got to be a part of that. But it's like, when am I going to be a part of it? Then the COVID shit happened. You know, you sitting around not doing nothing. Then somebody said something about Steve Cunningham in Pittsburgh. Me, I love the city of Pittsburgh, you know, for my own personal reasons. So I'm like, yo, I got to get that nest. Got to see if you put me on. Got to do it. You know, so that's when I tried to make my move and throw that bug out there like I wanted to battle Ness, you know, because I knew if I said that, you know, they would probably say, all right, you want to talk shit about Ness? Come to Pittsburgh, come to Border Wars. So that was my little angle way that I tried to finagle my way to get in. Yeah, and so I'm you here. know how to get in. Yeah. <laughs> So, uh, heavyweight, you said 255. 255. 6'3"? 6'3". 6'3". You seem taller. Hey, yo, maybe I am, bro. I've been doing a lot of pull-ups, a lot of squats, all that. Okay, so Stretching. squats is good, man. That's going to mean you got good, a, good, a good stance and uh, foundation. So, um, who are some of your favorite fighters? Ah, oh, man. My favorite fighter is um, Earl Spence. You okay. know, well, uh, I gotta say it's a tie between Earl Spence and uh, Terrence Crawford. Those are my those are my one A one B. You know, I'm a fan of Wilder. You know, I'm also a fan of AJ. AJ get a lot of smoke. You know, but I'm a fan of AJ because I think AJ, you know, stand on his own too. You know, however you want to feel about him is whatever. You know, Wilder, I still ride with Wilder, but I'm a fan of AJ because old boy speaks his mind and a lot of. And what other people really don't know is I'm also a fan of Tyson Fury. You know, Tyson Fury got that fucking personality that you want to see on TV. You know, he brings shine to the sport, whether you want to see it or not. You know, and I'm all for the love, for the growth of boxing. So it is what it is. So out of all those people, if you could call upon the boxing guys that let you perform as well as them, who would it be for today? Oh man, yo, I gotta put it down 100, bro. Tyson Fury, yo. So you want you would like a Tyson Fury like performance for today? Yo, hell yeah, bro. Quick with the jab, quick with the feet, bro. Keeps that hair moving, bro. Who would want that kind of style, bro? Only one that had that style, and I don't care. Hey, yo, Bad Channel, I love y'all, bro. Y'all my family, bro. But yo, like I told y'all before, Tyson Fury, bro. I don't care what y'all say. He got that Ali style, bro. He got yeah. that shit laid down. So, uh, when you shadow boxing or you hitting the bag, are you thinking like, I need to try to be more like Fury or are you just in your own zone? No, no, no. I'm in my own zone. I'm just trying to, when, I, when I'm like training, when I'm sparring, I'm just trying to not trying to be somebody else because if you try to be somebody else, I think you're going to overperform yourself and then you're going to get caught. So what I'm trying to do is just stay focused and listen to whoever's training me that day, listen to what they're telling me and putting that to me and try to get better or quicker or swifter, you know, with how how I feel like I conduct myself in the ring. Um, obviously, you you seen your opponent today. How was that for the first time to meet up? Yo, just just what I expected, you know. I mean, he's a he's a stocky guy, you know. He looked like he got some, you know, pop with his swing, you know. You know, I never take a man for granted, you know. what I'm saying that man hopped in this ring, so the man got heart, you know. So, yeah, I wasn't I wasn't doubting this dude from the jump, you know. No matter what everybody was saying, that's why I had to slide back from the show for a little while and. Stay focused, you know. That's why I watched that AJ Andy Ruiz like 50 times, bro. Mm. That keeps me focused, bro. Not to judge a man by his size. Yeah, good one, good one. So watching AJ Ruiz, uh, how are you going to kind of 
combat some of the things that Tank is going to be doing as the smaller man. You know, we talked about that earlier, him probably wanting to be the Ruiz in this fight. Hey, you know, just got to just got to keep my distance, you know, just got to, you know, not, not not let him get inside, not let him use his weight to like to to like overwhelm me, you know, so I just got to make sure I keep my distance, keep that jab out there. You know, I know he got some pop, so I got to make sure that I'm looking for, you know, that right hand, you know, so as long as I do that, I think I can get through it. I ain't, I ain't in here trying to kill a man, I'm out here trying to survive like a man, yeah. <laughs> So, a uh, question we ask everybody is, is this a one and done, or do you see yourself, regardless of win or lose, like, look, Santiago, I think he's like, oh, and he's, yeah, he's oh, and uh, two, and one, right? So, like, and he still wants to fight. Is Sony a one and done, regardless of win or lose, and this was just something you wanted to do to get it off the bucket list, or you see yourself building up a Border Wars resume? Definitely something I wanted to get out the bucket list. Okay. But as a fan, as somebody that done grown with the show, it started out as something I want to do as a bucket list. Now, depending on where the site is, I mean, yo, TVV, bro, y'all worldwide, bro. I can't keep up with y'all, bro. It's like, yo, bro, catch y'all on the YouTube channel, bro. Catch y'all on Patreon. That's what it is. But, yo, if it's within reach and I can get to it, yeah, I think I'll be down for another one. Hell Definitely. yeah. Well, Sony, man, we're excited for your fight and uh, can't wait to see you. Uh how you perform, and catch you for the post fight. Yo, shout out to the Bad Channel, bro. We up in here. All right. Well, if you enjoyed the video, feel free to hit the like, subscribe, and share. As always, if you want to support us to the next level, head over to the patreon.com backslash the boxing voice. We have tons of exclusive from Border Wars, from Title, betting shows, the list goes on and on and on. But in addition to that, if you guys have questions for fighters, trainers, and promoters, this is where you can submit them. We will run out get these questions answered, and put it back on the show just for you guys. Appreciate it. Peace.